Demo Queen by Alamadino Mega intercepts that ball. Sonia. Playing one down to Anton Lofoa. He has Guma and Saidi Chaine to beat. No. Liberia still keeping possession, a long one. But the friends deal with it and it will be a goal kick. Alamadin jumping high to stop Okri as Mitchell tries to do some explaining there to Wallace McGoffrey. Probably the wing backs should be doing some more bit of crossing balls than actually dilly dallying around Martin Karungo Mutumba to Wallace McGoffrey. He controls, does it does? Yes, it does bring in a cross. Yes. And Master Joffrey, his ball hits the woodwork. Master Joffrey as he lies down in pain. No, no, not actually pain. He's just disappointed by his performance. You get a feeling the players should be doing more of the crosses from the left and the right. If they are to get a second goal in this game, because Liberia are not really, really a side that is very good in the air, if you ask me. I'm still wondering why the players on the pitch haven't really utilized that weakness and gone ahead to get the goals. Okui being stopped there by Wesley Solomon being a little bit less there. Wasa to Guma. A long one for Emma Okui. But the ball is being headed out by Alamadi Omega. Guma. He does whip in a cross to Massa Joffrey, who controls beautifully. Massa Joffrey! Maxi, good deal for Uganda! But no! The first assistant referee saying Massa Joffrey is outside. The second goal from Uganda that has been disallowed. The first was from Anne Mwesigwa. Now Massa Okui's effort has also been ruled out for offside. Yeah, actually, he didn't pull that into the back of the net. It was a side netting, but yes, he was ruled out for an offside. The cranes need to do more of the crosses. I believe the crosses will get them the calls. Two crosses so far in the last one minute and Liberia has been exposed. Tonya playing it down to Unsu Ture. Unsu Ture having to deal with Guma Dennis. But no, Odonkara Robert deals with it though it was a little bit late. And it will be a corner kick for Liberia. The referee on the other side saying it's Uganda's ball. The assistant referee is disagreeing there. Alamadine Omega rushing towards the first assistant referee, rather the second assistant referee. And the central referee also tries to hear what his assistant has to say. The first assistant referee had given a corner kick to Uganda. The second assistant referee saying no, it's Uganda's ball. And yes, it will be a throw in for Uganda. Probably the ball had gone out a long time ago and play had been allowed to continue. Emma Okui looks to be struggling, soldiering on. I wonder who will be coming on to replace him if he really runs out of his legs. Tony Maweje to Mutumba. 
Mutumba playing it down to Massa. Massa in the middle. Saidi Chaine. Can he score his first international goal? Saidi Chaine from almost 20 yards plays the ball way, way, way off target after an exciting build up from Massa and Mutumba. You seen it dealing with Patrick Welly very calmly. Well, see me, Godfrey. To be a throw in for Uganda. Actually, Africa. Patrick Welly. His other name is Ronaldinho, but I wonder where in the world or who in the world really nicknamed him Ronaldinho. He has nothing in him that is Ronaldinho Nick. It's a name he should drop after a very lousy performance he has put up today. Mutumba. Struggling to deal with the physical game in Africa. Lafoua, Anton. And the Mwesigwa clears. Tonya. Playing it to Alusimbi. Jabate. Being stopped by Walusimbi. Okui, Emma. Okui, Emma going forward. He fails to play a through ball to Mutumba. Mutumba does it, trying to look for Massa. But the ball is being intercepted by Tori Onsu. Jabalia Francis for Liberia. Theo Wicks. Lewis. Guma Dennis. Looking for Massa. He does control it. Massa has Francis Jali back a bit. He fails to go past him. As Andy Mwesugwa stops Antonio Lafar. Lafar thinks that he's been fouled. But it's a throw in for Liberia. The side that beat Uganda two goals to zero. Tonya. Looking for Raha. Raha. As the librarians show their frustration. The no frustration of the gentlemen from Chad here. Seventy-one minutes have been played so far. That can only mean that 19 minutes is all the cranes have to get some goals. 19 minutes is all the Angolians have to pull this game level or even go ahead and win it. As a foul has been called here against Yabate Olise. Options from long range, but his efforts are way, 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 way off target. Massa failing to control that one as Alamadine Omega struggles to deal with it, but eventually does. Go for Anthony. Trying to go forward, he has three men to deal with. As the referee says that Anton Lafour was fouled there by the trio of Hassan Waswa, Goma Dennis and Saidi Chayine.
a la Madin Omega. Probably also needs some medical attention here. Looks like he pulled an armstring. Or it has something to do with this tummy. But earlier on it was his goalkeeper, Shaman Nathaniel, who was trying to stretch his leg. As he gets some little bit of massage from the Liberian team doctor there. Or should I say physiotherapist? Will come off the field to let play continue. As on the other side, the cranes have a set piece to defend. It's a two man wall, rather three man wall. As the Iberians try to have some numbers in the box. Been ripped in and of course goes out for a goal kick as Robert Adesara tried to get his hand on the ball, but it didn't happen. Long one for Modonkara, looking for Massa, who crashes one for Emma Queen, but. Shaman Nathaniel deals with it. The Liberians are still one man down, but the Cranes are struggling as Martin Karigo Mutumba plays one for him. He crosses in the ball, but no, of course, Master Jeffrey was way, 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 way yards away from that one there. Beautiful play from. Martin Kayonga Mutumba splitting the Liberian defense there for Emma Okwe who crossed in a ball but the nearest Ugandan was wild miles wide while also made Godfrey he brings in another one Mother Godfrey being stopped there by Rusi Solomon and Usi Tori and it be corner kick for Uganda Martin Kayongo Mutumba. The ball is not really where it's supposed to be. And play has continued as Master Joffrey heads the ball out. The referee didn't do it. No player saw it. But Martin Kayongo Mutumba had that ball almost 30 centimeters from the yard. That is demarcated for the corner kick. That corner kick arc is one yard. As Anne Mwesigwa gives the Liberians here, Calcares recuperates. Robert Odonkara saves the corner here. As the captain Anne Mwesigwa almost gave away the lead that the Cranes have. He failed to deal with the ball. But of course, Olise Jabate, who was following it up, played it straight into the. Part of Robert Odonkara is a corner kick for Liberia, a long one for Jabate. He has Mawaja to deal with as Walusim Godfrey defends it well. Saidi Chayune, Tony Mawaja playing it to Master Joffrey who fails, who fails to control it and to be a throw in for Uganda as Jericho shouts out instructions to his players. Olise Soko Jabate disappointed that he couldn't finish that one off. Goma Dennis. Okwe Emma trying to chase it but his back plays a role as Uganda tries to gain possession but they lose it as soon as they gain it is Liberia Yeah, we got one. 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 Yeah, we got one.
Saidi Chayune playing one from Tumba but he has Omega Alamadin who muscles him off the ball. Waswa to Maweje but no it is the Liberians that gain possession. Tonya. As Zana. Patrick Welly. <laughs> Has really, really struggled against the Ugandan defense. As Mutumba is also struggling to adopt to the Liberian masculine style of play as Anthony Lafoy fouls here Robert Odonkara when Robert Odonkara had gained possession of the ball with his hands Lafoy decides to kick him around well fans try to have a debate here about Mutumba Robert Odonkara seems for the second time in the game will need medical attention. Seems something is wrong with his hand. minutes have been played in this game 20 minutes is all the cranes have to pull off another historic victory here the Liberians need those 10 minutes to go out there and get a goal their coach Jerry Kongabe did say that a draw wouldn't be bad enough for him. He knows what he was up against. Despite the fact that they admitted to Uganda one go two goals to zero rather in Liberia. They did really say that the side was good. Odonkara gains his feet and he'll kick off the quest for a second goal here. As Maoji and Walusimbi collide in the midfield. Tonya being fouled here by Isinde Isaac, and it will be a free kick for Liberia. Olise Jabate. Mm, a two man wall of Mutumba and Walusimbi. Now the cranes have to be very, very, very sensitive as Sinde heads it out, but it's still possession for Liberia. Zana playing it down for Unsuture. The ball leaves for Theo Wicks, who plays a long one for Jabate Olise. Mutumba gaining possession. Looking for options, but in Kayonga Mutumba playing it down for Massa. Massa running it down. He has a player to beat. Can he really do that? Massa still trying to forge his way. He whips in across. And of course, the ball is being headed. But off target by Tony Maweje. Trying to look for a second here. He's the reason Uganda are leading this game. One goal to zero. As Liberia make a second substitution, Barian Heron will be coming on for Jabate Olise. Shot number 19 of Liberia, Barian Heron, 21 years of age. Uh, 
as you also see Godfrey and Jabati try to get physical here, some exchange of words here and there. And of course, Jericho will have to save. The Liberian coach Jericho will have to save Jabate or Lise. He has really been very, very frustrated. From the time he missed that chance in front of goal against Olokara, he has not been a player that he has been for Liberia earlier on. And Berian Heron will make his way on the field. the ball is being headed away by Patrick Welly, his first positive contribution for Liberia in this game. Patrick Welly. <coughs> Theo Wicks looking for Heron back to Theo Wicks playing it down to Tonya. Tonya taking a long shot that almost goes out for a throw in but it will be a goal kick for Liberia rather Uganda I beg your pardon the cranes are doing everything possible to hold on and get a win here the fans try to come the stadium is not full to capacity but I'm sure if the Cranes can put three points in the bag today, this thing, the 42,000 capacity seater, will be filled with spectators, I'm sure. One of the prominent Cranes fans, Mr. Daniel Thomas Jire, is also here enjoying the game in the VIP section. Hassan Wasso, Emma O'Kree being called here for offside. A run that I'm sure he had Alamadin Omega to beat, who would have beaten him with ease. Hassan Waswa playing it straight onto the feet of Anthony Oswa. Liberia, but of course, a shot from Fure Ansu goes way, 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 way wide and it will be a goal kick for Uganda as Daniel Mzei Selumkuma also plans to make his way here I wonder who he will be coming on for the Kenya Premier League football of the year from last season three minutes will be added on to wondering if Selumkuma will really come on as Kayongo Mutumba lies down in pain it's been hard. Three minutes of added time is all Uganda has got. Three minutes of added time is all Daniel Musei Selunkuma. The Kenya Premier League Football of the Year will also be making his way here. Jaliba Francis for Liberia. Bringing in a long one as Patrick Welly heads it right, his second contribution in front of the Ghanaian goal, rather his first contribution in front of the Ghanaian goal, is a header that goes wide. 
Daniel Serunkuma yet to make his way here. He's also just 19 years of age, Jose Daniel Serunkuma. He'll be coming on for Emma Okwi. The Kenya Premier League footballer of the year from last season. He plays in football for Goma here. He's a product of the famous Kampala Kids League that a vast Europe playing against fellow youngsters. The likes of Fabregas, the likes of Messi, the likes of Torres, the likes of Gerard Piquet. Those are players that are now superstars all over Europe. Jose Serukuma. A chance has been gifted to him to go out there and make history by the way. He's been favored ahead of Robert Sentongo. Ahead of Amis Tiza Diego. As Guma Dennis comes to the crane's safety here. Anton Lafoy bringing in across here, being headed away by Azak Isinde. Mutumba. Daniel Serumkuma to Saidi Chayne. Saidi Chayne failing to play back to Daniel Serumkuma. Plays a long one looking for Master Geoffrey, who fails to control it as the cranes give away possession. Again, that I believe Uganda should have been able to score more goals, but they only set up for one courtesy of Tony Maweje. going on here, being calmed down by the referees and of, and of course police coming into the stadium here. Patrick Welly, I'd love to hear what he has to say. Not a very, very happy man as Uganda makes a historic win here against Liberia. One goal to zero. The cranes have won. The Ugandans should be happy. As Liberia show their frustrations, not very happy with the results. But of course, that's football for you. We are never happy about the results. The losing team is never excited about the results. As Mitchell there tries to have Anthony Lafort trying to have some depth of here with him. 